Fergus Walsh reports. Good morning. Japan has confirmed it will resume commercial whale hunting next July and is withdrawing from the International Whaling Commission. A government spokesman told reporters whaling would be restricted to Japanese territorial waters and its exclusive economic zone. Japan will be joining Iceland and Norway, openly defying the international ban on commercial whaling. A warning, there are images in this report that some of you may find upsetting. Kim Gittelson has the story. Although Japanese ships hunted whales for decades, the bloody business has officially been banned for nearly 30 years. With ships like this one only catching and killing whales for what the Japanese authorities claimed were research purposes. But Japan has long wanted to commercially hunt species like the minke whale, which is protected by the International Whaling Commission, though not endangered. The Japanese withdrawal from the International Whaling Commission means that the country will resume commercial whaling by July of 2019. According to a spokesperson, whale hunting will be restricted to Japan's territorial waters and economic zones, meaning ships will cease whaling in the Antarctic Ocean, and Japanese trawlers will only hunt whale species with healthy population numbers. The move brought condemnation from Australia as well as conservationists, with Greenpeace saying that it was out of step and calling on the Japanese government to instead focus on conservation. By withdrawing from the agreement, Japan will officially join Iceland and Norway in resuming a business that has long been controversial. Kim Gittelson, BBC News. It is Japan will join Iceland and Norway in openly defying the international ban on commercial whaling. We can talk to Mark Simmons, who's a senior marine scientist with the animal protection group Humane Society International. Thank you for joining us. What's your reaction to this decision? Well, I think it's an extraordinary development. Uh, we did see forewarning of this that the last whaling commission meeting, which was um, in September when Japan threatened very seriously to leave, but it's still a very surprising and, and very historic development, really. Um, well, Japan says that when the agreement was put in place, the decision that the commercial whaling should be stopped was, was seen as a temporary solution while ways of looking for a sustainable plan were sought. And that just hasn't happened. Is, is that a fair enough perspective for them to, to say they didn't intend to sign up to a permanent ban? Well, in, in 1982, when the uh, ban was agreed, perfectly legal uh, moratorium on commercial whaling was agreed, the countries of the world realised that there was no way that they could manage whaling to make it sustainable. And so certainly there have been efforts since then to go away and try and find a way to introduce sustainability to this. But that's a really very, very difficult uh, thing to achieve. Yeah. And efforts, for example, to... Um, agree any any management system for whaling have actually failed so japan is stepping away essentially because it's not getting what it wants from the whaling commission and it makes a whole series of claims about um, the whaling commission being dysfunctional which just don't work um, what has the impact of the ban been in terms of protecting stocks because when the the ban came in in 1986 some species had been driven almost to extinction uh, how much has that picture changed well, I mean, the good news is that the, the moratorium can be seen as a big conservation success. So we prefer to call them populations rather than stocks. But the populations of some of the um, uh, whales that were hugely depleted by whaling, some of those have increased, and that's good. But that doesn't mean that we're at a situation now where we're actually able to simply uh, click our fingers and bring whaling back into play. Uh, and Japan knows that. There's a lot of spin in the way that Japan is putting out its... Um, its, uh, its statement on its change of heart about the Whaling Commission. And the Whaling Commission is the correct international legal body to oversee both whale conservation and whaling. Uh, and Japan knows that. The concern is that other countries might follow suit. Um, what do you think the impact will be specifically of Japan? I mean, obviously, as you say, other countries may follow suit, but specifically Japan saying it will fish in its own waters. It, it won't... Um, hunt in Antarctic waters in the Southern Hemisphere, but it will um, uh, um, do commercial whaling in its own territorial waters and economic zones. How, how, much, how many whales potentially could that impact? 
Right. Well, that's a, it's a complicated message, isn't it? So we can say that we're very pleased to hear that Japan is going to leave the Southern Ocean. There have been calls on them to leave this very special area of sea around Antarctica uh, for many, many years. So that's really, you know, quite good news as long as they as long as they stay away. But the thing about Japan or any other country talking about simply whaling, whale killing in, in its own territorial waters, its own economic exclusion zone, is that the whales, of course, don't abide by those boundaries. The whales don't know those boundaries are drawn over the sea, and their populations move through their waters, the migrations move through the waters. And so if Japan establishes that precedent for uh, a management of a whaling activity, it could be very bad news much more widely. Because uh, I, I was wondering whether if wh whales might actually change where they inhabit if there is a clear threat in a in in a certain area. Would they, it, might they change their their migration patterns? Well, it would be nice. <laughs> it would be nice to think so. I mean, what we have seen is that the past tremendous pressure from whaling in the previous century, for example, actually wiped out whales from whole sea areas, and and in many cases they've never actually returned there. So I don't think that we will see whale populations trying to avoid Japan, although, I mean, it would be very nice to think that they would. Now, I don't think that's going to happen. OK, thank you very much. Maybe that was a, a, a silly, naive question. <laughs> but thank It was a nice idea. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, scientists in Cambridge have created a 3D digital model of a cancer. The tumour sample taken from a patient can be studied using virtual reality. Research